Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to explain why I think you should be using a lanyard kit with your DJI remote controller. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've gotten a ton of questions from new flyers asking me, Rick, what accessories do you use and which ones would you recommend for somebody new to the hobby? And my first answer is always a landing pad or a landing mat because it's the perfect place to take off from and land on. It's also great to lay things down on when you're working, maybe put your case down, or if you've got your camera with you, you've got a nice dry, safe place that's above the ground. So if you're standing in a field and there's wet grass or there's a lot of dirt there, landing a drone in that environment is going to get the gimbal all gunked up. It's going to get dirt and debris up inside the camera. So having a landing mat is the perfect place to be sure you can set things down and not have them be damaged. And even if you're going to hand launch and hand catch your drone like a lot of folks like to do, having a landing pad means that you've got a safe place to land it as an alternative in case the wind kicks up when the drone's up in the air. So a landing pad or a landing mat is absolutely essential. The second accessory I always recommend is a lanyard kit for your controller because when you think about it, when you're out flying, the drone's up in the air, you've got the controller in your hands, but it's the one piece of equipment that you're gonna to have to let go of at some point during the flight. You just landed the drone, you've gotta change the batteries. What do you do with the controller? Do you put it down on the ground? Do you put it down on that landing pad? Maybe, but that could be moisture down there. So having a lanyard allows you to drop it around your neck and know that it's right there when you need it. You can pick it right up and start using it again. Maybe you've gotta change the props. Maybe you're looking at your phone trying to figure out where you're going to fly next. So having a lanyard allows you to let go of your controller and have it hang around your neck. Not to mention the fact that it protects it in case you drop it because these are expensive controllers. I mean, this is the DJI uh, RCN1 here. This is the DJI RC and this is the DJI RC Pro. All of these are expensive gear. And when you think about other things you use, like a DSLR camera, you've got a strap on your camera and you've got it around your neck because heaven forbid you drop it, you're going to damage the lens, you're going to damage the camera. It's the same here. So to me, it's a no brainer to have a lanyard kit on your controller. And I've got three different controllers here. We actually have a lanyard kit for the older controller, the original black controller as well. But these are three of the most popular controllers on the market today. And if you're flying a DJI drone, you're using one of these controllers typically with the drone. Now, the way they attach to the controllers is a little bit different. The two controllers that have screens built in have a bracket that actually bolts on the bottom with two screws that fit up inside the unit. These are aluminum brackets. They're incredibly durable, and they give you an option to either use a dual clip lanyard or a single clip lanyard. Now, they come with lanyards. Uh, both of these come with a, an upgraded lanyard that's got sort of a pleather outside, and it's got a really nice surface on the inside that's up against your neck. So if you're out in the hot summer weather, you're not going to have to worry about sweating. It's not going to rub against your neck. And it's got two heavy-duty clips on the bottom of it that catch outside here. Now, you can certainly use your own lanyard with it if you've got a favorite lanyard you've picked up, maybe at one of the trade shows, or you've got a branded lanyard you like to use, or you've got a lanyard with peace signs on it, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you can clip it in the bottom as well. And again, you have the option to use a single lanyard if you prefer that. Now, the original DJI RC, or the RCN1, there is nothing on the bottom that we can actually bolt to, so this clips on the unit. So essentially, you pull this up. I typically leave the lanyard on this, and then it slides down in the front just like this. So you clip it on top of the remote controller, and then your lanyard's on there, and you can drop this, and it's going to stay where you left it. This one is extremely important to have a lanyard on it because you've got your phone up here. So if you drop this one, you don't only potentially have the damage to the controller, but you've got damage to your phone. So there's no reason to go out without a lanyard on this one. Um, and again, both of these are incredibly easy to install. They're made out of aluminum. There's plenty of clearance on the bottom. So if you have other accessories that use that USB-C port, maybe like the 4-in-1 card reader, the Drone Valley card reader, or the Drone Valley wireless mic, they'll both plug right in the bottom with no issues whatsoever. But my, my point in making this clip is that when I have new flyers come to me and say, what are you using out in the field? What accessories are really worth the expenditure? And what will I actually use? A lanyard kit is number two on my list. And I've got a bunch more, but... Get a landing mat or a landing pad, and there's a bunch of different versions out there. We offer one that I think is the best. It's got a steel ring in the outside, and it snaps open, gives you plenty of landing space. But the second one, which is no less important, is a lanyard kit for your controller, because I've dropped controllers. There were years where I didn't use a lanyard kit, and I thought, oh, I just got the lay I've got the controller out there in the field. I'll just set it down on my case, or I'll set it down on the landing pad. But then I've dropped it. Now, luckily, every time I've dropped it, it's been in a field with a lot of grass or soft dirt. But if you drop these on concrete, you can crack that screen, and then what do you do? You gotta send it out for repair or you gotta replace it. So it's a small cost to ensure that you don't have a bigger cost later on. 
And that's pretty much all I had for today. So hopefully you found this review helpful. If you have any questions about these products, please let me know. Or questions about drones or technology in general, drop those in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. If you're interested in these, I've got links below where you can find them on our website. You can also find them on Amazon. And again, we've tested all these. We use these and we recommend those to friends and other flyers that we work with. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I've enjoyed talking about it. I'm glad to be back and I'm really excited about this summer because there are so many exciting things coming. You're gonna hear about them all here on the channel. So thanks again for watching and until next time as always, happy flying. Thank you.